Hello, my name is Drew Coleman, and today you are going to learn how to play cornhole. What is cornhole, you might ask? Well, cornhole is a game consisting of two boards, much like this one. Each board has a six inch hole in the middle, and you have corn bags. The objective of the game is to throw these corn bags into the six inch hole, just like that. Hence the name cornhole. When would you play cornhole? Well, cornhole is a great game to play at social gatherings and with other people. Anytime you have a gathering of people in general, cornhole is an excellent game to be playing. It is, <laughs> the game consists of two or four people. Uh, two people will play against each other, or if you have four people, it would be teams of two. <clears throat> So, let's go over the rules of playing cornhole. Like I showed you earlier, each board has, if I can do it right, each board, let me just do this, each board has a six inch hole in them. These boards need to be placed precisely 27 feet apart. If you don't have 27 feet of room, you can put them closer. But officially, with the official rules, they are supposed to be placed 27 feet apart. Now, this is real easy, so follow along. There are two ways that you can score points in cornhole. A game lasts till 21 points. So, I'll show you here on my board. If you throw the bean bag and it lands on the board <clears throat> just like that you would score one point now if you throw the bean bag and it lands in the hole just like so you would score three points those are the only ways that you can score points while playing pornhole if a bean bag were to hit the board and fall off or miss the board entirely you would score no, or no points. Now, just a tip, your opponents can knock your already placed bean bags on the board off the board, as such negating the point that you would get for that bean bag. <clears throat> Cornhole is very easy to play, it is very easy to learn, and is, is very much an enjoyable game. So, continuing with our rules here, you would hold your bean bag like so. Now, the last rule of cornhole is you stand on the side of your board just like so, and uh, when you go to throw your bean bag, you are not allowed to cross the front of the board. So, I am standing behind and I would throw. If your foot or any other part of your body were to cross the front of the board, that throw would be disqualified. All right. So, there are now two more ways that you can play. Just to show you an example here, let me show this here. <clears throat> so let's assume the team standing on the opposite end has already thrown their backs. And this is what they ended up with. As you can see, there is one blue bag on and two orange bags on. So, by general rule of thumb, or general rule of thumb, by the rules, orange scored two points and the blue team scored one point. The official rules is that the points would negate each other. So, you have the blue bag and the orange bag here. These would cancel each other out and be taken away. And so you would be left with one orange bag, which means the score would be one to zero orange team. The other way to play is every point counts, meaning that those points would not cancel each other out. So the score would be two to one orange team. You can play both ways, and both are equally as fun, 
The reason why there are two versions of it is the method of canceling each other out can lead to some very, very long games because instead of making points, you're canceling points out, which makes the game itself last a lot longer. Both are fun, both are competitive, both have different strategies to them though. But if you have more time to play the cancel method, I recommend playing that one. So let's show you here. Let me. Try to set this up here. All right, so normally, um, two opponents would stand on the same side. So I would be uh, standing over at this board and one of my opponents would be on the other side and the same thing down at the other side. My teammate would be standing down there and then um, the opposing teammate would also be standing down there. Only one side throws at a time and you each throw your four corn bags that you have. So let me show you here. So, if you can see it there, I just threw the blue corn bag, it landed on the board, I would be awarded one point at the end of the round, assuming that that bean bag stays on, on the board. Let's throw it in here. Again, landed on the board, I would be awarded an additional point. Now, typically, a person would throw all four of their bags before the other person threw all four of their bags. Since I only had the three bean bags on here, I just threw those. So as you can see here, much previous to our example again, if this was the end of the round, blue team would be awarded two points, orange team would be awarded one point, depending on how you're playing. Now, if I was to get that in the bag, of in the hole itself, I would have been awarded three points. Like I said before, the game of cornhole is very easy. It is very fun. The hardest part about it is throwing the corn bags. If you ever have the chance to play, I certainly recommend you do so. And I would also recommend you invest in getting some boards for yourself. The game is very easy to set up and take down, as I can show you over the boards right here. This board's laying on the ground right here. You just pick it up. These fold down. They're tight. And it is ready to carry. Well, I hope you have a wonderful day. And good luck to you.